Hi, I decided that this week I would film a little January favorites video. So this is just going to be all of the things that I have enjoyed in January. It's kind of a good combination of books and movies, music, as well as products and just like concepts. Yeah. First things first, I'm gonna do the books that I really enjoyed this month. I've been really enjoying listening to audiobooks while I'm cleaning. I've been listening to Lessons by Ian McEwan, and this was one of those books that I would see in the bookstore all the time, and it's so thick and intimidating that I just never really felt compelled to buy it and read a physical copy, but I've been really enjoying the audiobook version of it. I also listen to audiobooks on one point two to 1.5 times speed just depending on how slow the narrator speaks and you can get through audiobooks so quickly by doing that and it's not like on 1.2 times speed they're not they don't sound like a chipmunk like the voice actor doesn't sound crazy they just sound like they're speaking at a normal pace people that narrate audiobooks speak really really slow so lessons is about this man his name's roland and we find out at the beginning of the book that his wife has abandoned him and their baby the story's set in both late 80s Europe around fall of the Berlin Wall and then also Chernobyl but then it's also set when Roland was between 11 and 16 I believe he went to a boarding school and he had this really bad little thing going on with his piano teacher the story kind of unfolds across these two timelines it's very complex but I really, I've been enjoying it a lot. I think I'm, I have like five hours left of the book. Okay, and while we're on the topic of books, I designed a virtual TBR. So I made this website so I could organize my TBR by month. So I could really keep track of which books I want to read every single month because I have so many books that I've just never read. And I find it really difficult to keep track of the ones that I haven't read yet. And so I made this virtual TBR and I used this app, it's called Universe, to design this whole website. And actually, Universe is the sponsor of this video. Universe is this extremely user-friendly drag and drop app. You can use it to design a website or a storefront or a blog. You can use it to showcase your portfolio if you're a creative, or you can use it to design a monthly TBR like I did. This is what my website looks like. I'm obsessed with it. The entire website is completely customizable, but you don't have to be familiar with code. There's like no coding involved. It's very, very simple. The whole app and the interface just feels very intuitive and you can use the app on a computer or you can just use it on your phone, which I really like because I like being able to update my TBR from my phone. They have all of these templates that you can pick from and I'm somebody that gets really hung up on aesthetics. Like if I don't like the way that my website looks i'm not going to want to use it but because they have all these templates that are so nice they look like extremely trendy websites that are designed by professional graphic designers and you can just use one of those templates and then input all of your like the personalized information for your website they're so nice universe is completely free but you can upgrade to universe pro and then that'll get rid of all the universe branding so that the website looks like it's just entirely your own brand you can get your own .com your own custom domain name you can also unlock custom menu styles gain access to the code block you'll also get the ability to make discount codes that's especially helpful if this is a storefront that you've designed with universe pro you can also get a lower flat five percent transaction fee so there are no hidden fees with universe and you get paid out more quickly you can use the first link in the bio of this video to get 25% off or you can use the second link to just try universe for free in January I read the lover and I mentioned on my TikTok that I was in kind of a big reading slump in January and I only read two books this was one of the two books and because it's so little I think it was really helpful to sort of get me out of my reading slump it didn't totally work but now i feel like i'm finally enjoying reading again this book i really loved it reminded me so much of bonjour tristesse which i read in december i just think francois segan and marguerite de ross have just like very similar writing styles i think french writers just have this very introspective way of writing that i enjoy this was a good one it's quick it's easy it's really sad actually yeah it wasn't easy it was depressing but it's a good one Okay, now we're gonna move on to what I've been listening to. Went to the Carol King musical 
a few weeks ago and it was so good. I loved it. <laughs> and ever since the musical, well, before the musical, I was listening to her quite a bit. But then after I saw the musical, I started listening to Tapestry like every day when I would walk to the bakery and she's amazing. I didn't realize until recently that she wrote the Gilmore Girls theme song. It's an amazing song. It's so good. I've also been listening to Mia Joy's record Spirit Tamer a lot. It's really good background music I find. Like I like listening to it when I'm making breakfast or I'm just like, whatever, doing stuff around the house. Oh, and whenever I'm getting ready to go out in the evening, I'll put on, I go onto Spotify and I look up the song Time is on my side and then I play the radio playlist for that song and it's so fun. It's like all Aretha Franklin and the Ronettes and it's perfect getting ready music. We're gonna move on to what I've been watching. As a general rule, I just don't really watch TV. If I do watch TV, I have to be doing an activity while I'm watching TV. Like I'll try crocheting or knitting or something while I'm watching TV, but Typically, I'd rather just be crocheting or knitting while listening to an audiobook. I'd say maybe once a week I'll watch a movie. Most recently, in January, I watched the movie Faux. It's the new Saoirse Ronan and Paul Mezcal movie, and I know it's based on a book, and I haven't read the book, but now I really want to. I really love books and films that kind of revolve around interpersonal relationships or slice of life stories, but I really like when they're set against a really complex background and that's exactly what this movie is. Basically the film is set in the US in the very near future when the earth has just been completely ravaged by climate change and it's becoming nearly uninhabitable and so people begin traveling to space and taking up residence temporarily in space and they're just doing space travel trying to figure out if people can live in space. But the film is really about this husband and wife's relationship and the way that you can grow out of love and fall out of love with people. Just like the way that partnerships evolve. It was fascinating. But I will say, because it's based on a book, I feel like a lot of the film felt very, very abstract and I didn't totally know what was going on a lot of the time in a way that I didn't mind. I think if I had read the book, it would have made a little more sense. On YouTube, I've been watching a lot of other creators' videos just so I can kind of like get some inspiration for editing. And I feel like you guys know I love Jenny Bourne's videos. She's kind of the one YouTube creator that I've kept up with for years. I've been watching her videos, I think since like 2017, maybe even earlier than that, maybe like 2016. And then I love Sarah Gray's videos. I know she isn't really posting right now, but I love going back and watching her old videos. Those are two of my favorites. Some of my favorite things that I've been wearing lately have been my Clarks. I love my Clarks. They have such good arch support. They also have a little bit of a platform and that actually took me a while to get used to. I used to kind of twist my ankle when I was wearing them. Not like actually twist my ankle, but I would, I would kind of trip on them a little bit, but now I'm used to the little platform. It's like actually that big. It's very small. I find that because there is this little platform, my feet don't get cold when I'm walking in the snow, which is very nice. I do almost wish they were taller. Like I just have the short ones, but I would get a pair of taller ones. I also wear them to the bakery. And typically if I'm working at the bakery, I'll be standing for five plus hours and I never have any foot pain. And that is very rare for me because I've always worked in restaurants and at the end of all my shifts, I would just always have terrible foot pain and I would have to go home and soak my feet in the bathtub and my feet would just be like aching and throbbing and that doesn't happen when I wear my Clarks. They're great, they're my Walter White shoes. Okay, this one feels kind of silly, <laughs> but I've been wearing a lot of red lately. I've just been gravitating towards red. I've been painting my nails red and I actually really love this nail polish. It's this Essie nail polish. It's number 488. I do not want to say the name of this out loud. It's <laughs> forever yummy. I hate that. I hate that so much. But the color is really good. It's a very nice red. I've been wearing my red cowgirl boots like every day. I don't know, just something about it. Oh yeah, I got this really fun underwear set from Bully Boy. I feel like that's what sparked this. I got this red underwear set. Just been really into red. Oh, I showed you guys the L.L. Bean jacket that I got off eBay last month and that was such a good purchase. I'm so glad I bought that. 
I still can't tell if it looks like it's really big on me or if it fits normally, but I don't even care because it's so warm. Okay, it's actually not so warm. It's been perfect for kind of a mild winter. The lining is really nice and cozy. It has huge pockets. The pockets are massive. I like that I can button it all the way up. It was such a good find. I, there's a lot of them on eBay, actually. I got mine in a medium. I kind of feel like it fits more like a women's large, but it's a really good jacket. It's just the L.L. Bean field jacket or field field jacket. It's the field jacket. Robin made me this neck warmer. You can actually buy these. Uh, it's from her brand Knit Slip. I'll just link her website below, but I am very pro neck warmer. Neck warmers are so much better than scarves. Scarves just like flap in the wind and they're so annoying, but this neck warmer is perfect. It's partially cotton and partially wool. So it's very, very warm without being itchy. I wanna wear it right now. It's so nice. It makes me feel so snug and bundled up and I love it. Next are some items that improved my quality of life in January. The first, this might be my favorite thing from the entire month. It's my little Wonder Boom speaker. It's just a Bluetooth speaker, but I haven't owned a speaker until now. Typically I would just play records on the record player. That's not even mine, it's my roommate's. I would just listen to his records all the time. If I didn't want to do that, I would just have to play music off of my phone. And I didn't realize how bad that sounds until I got this thing and I'm obsessed with it. I use it constantly. Love this little thing. The sound quality is so good. It's perfect for when I want to listen to an audiobook while I'm cleaning. I just like blare the audiobook. I love it. My little wonder boom. Next is my Kinto. I take this to school with me every day. I love that it has a little handle. I think it keeps my coffee so warm. Sometimes when I forget to clean it, it smells really, really gross. But then I find if I just like wash it out with vinegar, then it's totally fine. I think it's a perfect size. You can get them in so many fun colors though. There's a really good green one. Next is the bedding that I'm currently sitting on. My linen bedding from Piglet in Bed. It was gifted to me, but I would absolutely purchase this bedding. The quality is so good. I also love that you can get pillowcases, sheets, and a duvet cover and you can mix all the patterns so you can customize your entire bedding set. I think that's so fun. The linen feels really heavy in this way that I really like. It almost feels like a weighted blanket and in the winter I find it keeps me really warm. I kind of have this weird sleep routine where because I have radiators in my building I keep the radiators on but then sometimes it gets so hot that I'll have to open a window a little bit and so in the middle of the night, sometimes the radiator kind of turns off and then I have a window open and like the temperature is just always a bit weird in here. But I find that when I sleep with linen bedding, the linen just kind of regulates my body temperature and I don't know, I just feel good. And now for products. I have said it before and I'll say it again. This salty face tanning water is so good. It goes on clear. You can spray it all over your face after you do your skincare. Then you take this little brush and you just like rub it all over your face. I like to take it down onto my neck and onto my chest a little bit. Because it goes on clear throughout the day, it'll develop. So you can put a full face of makeup on and then this is developing under your makeup. And because it's clear, I don't find that it stains my bedding, which I really like. I'm also so pale. I haven't used this in a few days. So looking a little more fair than usual, but this doesn't make me orange and I am very susceptible to turning orange from using fake tan. This fat oil from NYX, I've been using every single day. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know the difference between a lip gloss and a lip oil. This feels like a lip gloss to me, but I don't really know the difference. It's so thick that I feel like in the winter, this is almost better than most lip balms because my lips never get dry when I wear this. It's in the color Status Update. It's kind of like a brown. Yeah, I've been wearing it every day. I'm wearing it right now. It's great, it's so cheap. NYX is so inexpensive and they, they make a good product. This is a good lip oil, gloss, whatever. The last product that I'm gonna recommend and that I really enjoyed is the Shave Oil by Maud. I really only use this on my bikini line when I shave because it's such a little bottle and I feel like there's not enough in here to use on my legs, but if I had more of it, I would. This is one of those products that just smells so nice and 
it feels like such a precious item. Like I don't want to use it too often because I just want to savor it. I could just buy more of it. I feel like I don't get nearly as many razor bumps and I don't get razor burn when I use this. I also have their body oil and the soothing oil, which I really like using after I shave. This is so nice. Sometimes because this smells so good, I even just put a little bit of it in my bath. Oh, it's so nice. Okay, and the final thing, my final favorite thing of January, uh, this is such a silly thing to say out loud. Okay, I feel like all of the things that I've been manifesting, it's been specifically physical items that I've been manifesting and have been trying to manifest for years and years and years are finally just starting to come my way. This example is very funny for years and years and years. I'm talking like five years. I have been joking about wanting a Corona bikini, like a Corona brand <laughs> bathing suit. I just think something about that's so funny. I used to joke about wanting to go to this like kind of trashy country festival, like country music festival that happens in Manitoba every year. I would joke that I wanted to go to this festival and wear this a Corona bikini for the entire weekend. I basically just wanted to adopt an alternate identity for an entire weekend and just like live my life as a completely different person at a country music festival with music that I probably wouldn't like very much. And I would just drink Bud Light. Yeah, it was a joke for so long. And then a few weeks ago, I was talking to somebody about this and I like explained this whole scenario about going to this festival and this bathing suit out loud. And then the other night, I also explained the exact same situation to two other friends. Then the very next day, those two friends were at a thrift store and they found a Corona bikini. They bought it for me and it fits like a glove. It is the best fitting bathing suit that I own. Then the other day I'm looking on Instagram. I see this Instagram story, someone's selling this sweater. I'll show you, it's this, this is what it looks like. I have been looking for one of these. It's a Pachamama sweater. I've been looking for one of those for years. I've been searching eBay. I'll find one every once in a while, but they're usually like very, very overpriced. Not even overpriced, like they're, they're worth a lot and they're pretty rare. They would be like $300 and sometimes like 300 US dollars. And so I was never really willing to buy one. This one, was 15, $15. And so obviously I bought it. I feel like I've just been manifesting these items into my life. And so it feels very like woo woo to be like manifesting is one of my favorite things from January, but it's kind of true. It's true. Manifesting works. I've just been speaking all of these material items into existence. Anyway, I think that's it. Those are all of my favorite things. I'll see you guys in the next video. It's gonna be a vlog, I think. But yeah, I'll talk to you soon. I hope you have a good day.